case design department where they're actually designing the policies. And at this point, I believe we have around four or five people. Um, we may have had some interaction with Joy. She is yes. the one who's been there the longest. Um, she's the one that manages that department and she, she really trains everyone uh, in that department and has a lot of experience at this point. I think she is one of the, um, one of the employees that have been here the longest compared to, to everyone else. So she has a lot of experience, worked with Steve directly on design the policies. Um, she's the one who really approves things overall and, and Steve as well, makes sure to approve designs. But yes, Joy is amazing when it comes to designing policies and the whole team overall. We have Monica as well. We have a, a, a lot of great employees who are working in that department. Got it. So when a, when a client, and this will tie into the process, I'm going to write it out. So the client initially speaks with an insurance agent, a licensed insurance agent. That's really the first point of contact, correct? Correct. And then after maybe one or two consultations, meetings through Zoom, possibly in person in the future, um, but mostly over Zoom or over the phone, you're presenting something like that, like a whiteboard almost, right? But on the computer and you're kind of answering all the questions and you're getting the age, health, finances of the client to, you know, come up with a funding amount that they want to, you know, put into the policy for a period of time. Once they go through that, then the second part is you submit the numbers to the case designer, correct? Correct. Got it. And then from, from there, um, who else is in the process that, cause I, there's so many people that touch just one policy that makes it so great. You know, these, these high cash value life insurance policies. I think it's really cool sure. for the viewers that are watching to see how many people behind the scenes, other than your agent, um, is, is involved in the process. So we've got the case designer, the agent, who else is in the picture? Sure. So once we get those, or once we request those numbers from case design, that is where of course we present it to the client. And if the client says, I want to move forward, that's where case management gets involved. And that's another uh, four or five different employees there where um, they're the ones who are very hands-on when it comes to getting the questionnaire, making sure to fill out the application, making sure everything is accurate to make sure we can start the underwriting process with the company directly, whether Guardian, Mass Mutual, other companies we're brokered with overall. But they're, they're very involved when it comes to that side of things. We, of course, will re relay some information to the client when they are going through that process, but um, they're the case management department is the one who's directly talking to their underwriters, making sure that the process is going smoothly. Got it. And then after case management, who else is in the, in the picture here? Sure. So once they get approved, that's where um, we might write the policy itself. And that's where customer relations gets involved. Customer re relations, their main uh, department or job in the department is helping with clients that already have policies with us and helping uh, clients with loans, helping them with payments, um, just making sure that their policy is going smoothly as well as helping with any uh, different things that need to be edited with the policy down the line. Uh, and that will be another four to five employees. I feel like I might be missing people, but we can just pretty much round the numbers around there. Yeah, estimated four to five is, and what, what was that department? Uh, relations? Sure, it's customer relations. Customer relations, got it. At this point, the policy's in place. Correct. Got it. And then any other uh, uh, departments that are um, on the back end, not necessarily involved in the in the policies or, or the the case, the situation itself, but any other departments on the back end that help this system run well. Sure. So there are people who um, work with case designers to really spreadsheet the numbers themselves. Of course, you, we also have uh, Tina who takes all the calls into IBC Global. She's great. A lot of people may have had uh, interactions with her. Uh, we also have um, Dara who, Dara Parisi, I, you've, I believe met her before. Or yeah, we met in, in, right. in uh, Florida together. So um, she's a big help in just organizing everything. I mean, she has her hand in so many different things. Um, so she, she's great, especially at organizing as well as Jen. Um, I'm 
the actual names of of uh, their titles are slipping my mind, but there's about you know another five or so people that you can add who just make sure that the whole business is running smoothly, whether with HR um, or just having the supplies necessary to make sure that we can really do the best we can on our end. Um, and then of course in the background with Steve. Uh, with his uh, videos that he does a lot of content, we have the media um, department, which is another three to four employees who are helping make sure that we are getting all the content necessary, necessary rather through YouTube, uh, through Instagram, through uh, LinkedIn. We have a, a lot of different avenues there, just making sure that our website is working correctly. So, right, the media, the media team, and the education. Uh, really helps the insurance agents conversations go a lot smoother where it doesn't feel like a sales pitch rather an educational consultation meeting to help clarify oh um you know the client says hey i saw steve said this but now he's saying this because of new mech laws just want to get some clarification on the guarantees what's going on like that right that's what that department is yeah. really yeah. set out to do and really help you guys where the leads um that really helps with time management wise you don't have to spend so much time trying to get new leads rather it's it's flowing right to you guys correct absolutely especially when i first started steve was pretty much just starting his youtube channel whereas now we have hundreds of videos where we can pretty much uh, any question that a client brings out we can send a video of their way where we can maybe do a brief explanation, especially over email, send the video and that answers the, their question or any concern they have. So those videos and, and that media department is, is huge. And like mentioned earlier, Steve is doing a lot of media and focusing more on, on that side of things. So um, that's where he's, of course, keeping busy, making sure there's a video every day that is being put onto our YouTube channel. Yeah, insane, his uh, output of content. <laughs> I, I, I love it every day. He's, he's putting content out. It's insane. So media uh, team three to four. And uh, I, I think you touched on a, a little bit of the technical where you've got the excels and the spreadsheets. So is that like a, like the IT team or is that a different department? So that's, that is still the, um, you can kind of, I guess, include it with, with cases on or just the spreadsheet department where there's a couple of people we have there. Um, but of course we do have IT, like you just mentioned, where we have about three people that are working in IT, just making sure that everything is running smoothly, especially with the website, with uh, different leads that are coming in, monitoring everything that, make, making sure that everything is, is going well. Yeah. Um, and, and they've been a, a huge key because we are, of course, growing a lot. We're changing a lot of different systems, a lot of processes. So they've been a, a big help on that. Um, and even included with the agents, you can include um, William, who is pretty much the agent supervisor, making sure that uh, we're working successfully and making sure that we're productive. Um, and I'm, I'm trying to think, I feel like I'm, I'm missing some people, the commissions department, which is another three people Got who it. just make sure that, of course, everyone is getting paid, whether agents and just employees overall, the payroll department and a lot of credit to them because they, they've shown us that they've done some examples for everyone just to show exactly how they're able to um, disperse all the payments. They, they just get pages and pages of uh, commission statements on a monthly basis. So there is a lot of information they have to pretty much dig through just to make sure everything's accurate and they do an amazing job. Right. So William's supervisor over the agents, making sure you guys have the right tools, that you're fully equipped to deliver the best service. Um, commission department, making sure you guys get paid so that you're rewarded properly for your worth and your value. So you keep delivering that great value to the to the client. Tech department, making sure is everything is working. <laughs> uh, that is yeah. important. And uh, and then at the at the very top of it all, um, I'm assuming you got the executive, you know, like the C suite or, or the, the the top people that oversee everything. That's Steve, right? And and Dara, correct? Or is there anyone else correct. in that? No, so I, I mean, we we have a lot of different su supervisors in each department. Got it. So we, have, yeah, we have you know case management. We have a supervisor, case design, customer relations, media. Just about every department has some kind of supervisor, and we're, we're constantly meeting just about every week as well, just to make sure that um, everything is running smoothly. If there are issues, how can we fix them? How can we improve just in our business overall? And like mentioned, I mean, when I started, less than 
about three years ago now, I mean, we had 10 employees. So adding 30 employees, 10 employees pretty much year by year, um, if not more, that's, it's a lot. There's a lot going oh, on. Yeah. So it's making sure that everything is going smoothly. Whereas before, maybe if there was an issue, I can just walk up right to Steve and say, hey, this is a problem. How do we fix it? Whereas now there's so many people and we want to make sure that everything is being addressed properly. Yeah. And would you say it's, it's um, a lot easier than just going to Steve for everything in the beginning versus now it's like it, it, Steve's spread out. His, he's moved his brain into these different departments yeah. of how he you know, likes the, the system. Would you say that's much uh, more smoother? Was it harder at first or is it just like very, very clean now? Sure. So take Steve, all the guessing work out of it, basically. Yeah. Yeah. So Steve, I mean, he was busy beforehand when he was dealing with clients and now he's just as busy. But of course, his his attention is focused in different directions. Um, but what's nice is we do have that ILS training, for example, for agents, where if we do have very specific questions that a client brings out, that maybe a video isn't on YouTube, we can go there directly answer any questions regarding high cash value life insurance or just the processes overall. Um, the YouTube channel, there's so much information there where, again, we don't have to go directly to Steve to ask him. We can find that information ourselves. Or even at this point, myself and Stephanie, we're senior agents, we're, we're training other agents, just making sure that everything is, is running smoothly. If they have any questions, they can come to us. So just in the sales department itself, so many resources to just to make sure that we are doing everything properly and answering any questions that clients have. And that goes for all departments. We have so much video content out there. Uh, if they have any issues or, or need help with anything, uh, a lot of supervisors, again, it's just a, a well oiled machine. Just every department at this point knows their, the role, what their job is and, and how to really accomplish it. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I think that's really cool. I think a lot of the viewers are going to be like really excited just to kind of see how does the whole machine really operate. Uh, and I think people are going to get a, a, a bigger appreciation in regards to the, the process.